All right, I worked on her today. I uh, developed the robe or the blanket that's uh, wrapped around her waist. Uh, came up with the uh, hand and arm position for her right arm and uh, was just getting ready to start on her face and my eyes just gave out. I just tired. Uh, I started at 9 o'clock this morning, uh, took a couple hours off because I had to get a couple things done and came back to this. Uh, let me show you what I've done and I, I'm i shooting with my uh, Hero 5 right now. The Hero 4 I've retired. Uh, you know, I'll use it for when I go driving or something like that, but the stabilization is not very good, and if you knock against the uh, thing it's mounted on, it will sit there and shake, and I mean really shake. Uh, the Hero 5 has uh, stabilization, so it's less of a vibration. So let me show you what I did today, and I'll use my Canon... Um, SX30IS camera to uh, show you. I worked on the uh, robe. I got uh, it just about done. Uh, I got her holding the robe right here. It's wrapped around her waist and coming around the front and then the loose end of the robe is hanging down past her hand. I will be working on the hand tomorrow. Uh, I'm trying to finish up the back of the hair and the back of the robe or the blanket. And that's what I've done today. Uh, it, it's taken several hours of work. I am uh, I put this red background behind the uh, clay only because, you know, it's, I got the horse and the Indian. Let me show you. The horse and the Indian are back here. I got him tilted so I can work on his face a little more uh, easily while he's still on his body, which is probably a good thing to do. And I'm going to work on her face uh, tomorrow uh, to try to uh, take care of the damage that I caused on it. And I don't think it was when I changed the, the angle of her head. It was something else that happened, and it, it just... It hit right across the nose and the eye. It's dented right on the eye, eyebrow, and so I've got to uh, adjust that. I'm shivering a little bit because it's a little cold in here. It's been snowing for three days now, and it's down in the sub-zero weather right now, and it's cold, even with gas heat. Um, so anyway, that's what I'll do tomorrow. I'll work on her a, a bit more, then I'm going to reattach her to the horse. And I think it's going to look dynamite. I, I love the way she looks right now. I, I did change the angle of her arm, uh, so the, her right arm, uh, so that she's holding on to the uh, blanket. And it was based on a picture I got off the web of a Crow Indian woman with her husband. And uh, she's doing exactly what uh, the lady I'm sculpting is doing. And that's what gave me the idea for it was... Uh, where she's holding the blanket right there, and uh, it it causes some nice wrinkles in the blanket and stuff like that. I'm not going to do the the uh, rough area on the bottom of the blanket. That's that's that'd be hard to cast. Of course, I'm I might I never know. I might change my mind. All right, that's uh, going to be it for tonight. Now, let me turn my camera off, and uh, I'll catch up with you next time, and we'll see what we can do to get this. Uh, project done give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time